Hey, this is Chris McKee with Alamo Music, online at alamomusic.com, and today we have a special tutorial for you on how to play Thunderstruck on a viola. No, not really, because I, I can't play Thunderstruck on a viola, but this would be cool, right? Anyways, no, we've got a really cool video for you. Uh, we have Taylor's new guitar that's available, and it looks just like this. It doesn't really. But this actually holds a key to what Taylor's introducing, so I wanted to make sure and, and share that with you. Before we get started, though, I want to remind you to subscribe to our video so you can see the latest, greatest, coolest stuff that only we can bring to you. Also, find us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr. We've given you a lot of options to stalk us, so take advantage of it. Um, so I'm holding in my hand an orchestral stringed instrument. This happens to be a viola or viola. I guess it depends upon how you pronounce it. I've settled on viola myself. And this stringed instrument reached its apogee of design probably hundreds of years ago. We we want to say 1700s. Uh, there hasn't really been a lot of improvement in uh, orchestral string instrument design since then. And what they settled on uh, is is pretty much agreed upon throughout uh, every manufacturer and, and player in the world. And that is a string instrument with an arched uh, spruce top, uh, maple back and sides, and a maple neck. And this combination, along with all of the design implements, gives the instrument the sound that we're familiar with. It allows it to project, it gives it all of its tone, and it allows the builder to endue in the instrument their own design language and, uh, and tone. That's why Stradivarius violins and so forth are worth so much money. So Taylor's taken a page out of this book and realized something that's really key to understanding their new guitar, and that is that maple has been misunderstood in the flat top guitar market for a long time. This wood's been underutilized. And thankfully, Taylor and Andy Powers have come out with a new guitar to take advantage of it. I'm gonna put this aside. If you hear anything fall, we have a special on violas. Okay, here we go. This is Taylor's brand new 600 series. This is the 614 CE model. So let's go over a few things. I'll tell you what, first off, I'm getting over a cold, so sorry if I sound like Dionne Warwick or something, and uh, and I've got a, a pinched nerve in my back, but this guitar is good enough to, despite all that, come and bring you this video. It's almost medicinal. It should be a controlled substance, this guitar is so good. So here are the new specs. First of all, it's a 600 series, which has always been maple with Taylor, and so you've got maple back and sides. But going back to what I said, in flat top acoustic guitar construction, 
Maple's been misunderstood. Maple and spruce has been the combination for years on orchestral string instruments. It's also a combination that's used for arch top guitars. And utilizing that knowledge as well as uh, mandolins, uh, Andy Powers has reintroduced this series with changes. Some of those changes are similar to what we saw last year with the 800 series, and some of them are unique to this guitar because of its maple construction. So what has happened over the years in the past is that acoustic guitar makers have taken a guitar that was designed, that was braced, that from the ground up was made to work with spruce and rosewood, and then they've put maple on the back and sides. And we kind of go, yeah, that sounds bright. Well, of course it sounds bright because that guitar was designed for spruce and rosewood. And rosewood is very, very different than maple. It has a very fast velocity. Uh, the, you know, you have to brace it differently because the the vibrations move through the wood so quickly. Maple, on the other hand, has a dampening effect, and so the bracing should inherently be different in its design. And that's what Taylor has done. Uh, aesthetically, it's a beautiful guitar. They finished it with this brown sugar finish that, again, kind of harkens me back to uh, the rich deep stain that you often see on a very fine uh, violin or viola. So maple guitar, uh, maple back and sides. Let's talk about the top for a moment and the bracing. Uh, a lot of the design elements starting off come from the 800 series. So Taylor's utilized that ultra thin 3.5 mil finish that they introduced in the new 800 series last year. This is the thinnest finish in the industry and allows the guitar to really resonate. It also has the performance bracing on the top that came from that 800 series and some design elements that we'll see like the wood pick guard. In this case, it's made out of uh, ebony rather than rosewood and in parts just a really nice look to the guitar and a real nice feel uh, when your fingers kind of touch it on the top. The back bracing is unique to this line. Again, going back to the attributes of maple. Um, in this case, they're angled like they are on the 814 CE for better bass response, uh, but the back bracing on this kind of tapers off. It never really touches the side of the guitar so that the maple can move more. Uh, again, because it's dampening, we don't want to brace it too heavily. And so that's a very, very unique design that Andy borrowed from archtop guitars. It's got new inlay, uh, Ivoroid inlays, um, a beautiful uh, purfling on the headstock that really trims out the ebony binding that graces the headstock neck and body. And then on the back of the guitar, let me turn this over again so you can see it, uh, really elegant uh, inlay on the back of the headstock in an ebony uh, back strap, which is gorgeous. It's a nice look. It's one of those things that a lot of people won't see when you're playing, so it's kind of just for you as the player. It also has Taylor's new ES2 uh, pickup system in it. And... Uh, Abalone and Ebony uh, Rosette as well. It's really just a fantastic looking guitar and it sounds unlike uh, a lot of other maple guitars. In fact, Andy says he designed this for the player who didn't like maple guitars. So if that's you, if you did not appreciate the 600 series, it was say too bright uh, for you, this guitar is going to uh, probably be appreciated a lot more. And it really fooled me. I got to play the prototype of this in October at the Taylor factory. Um, and sworn to secrecy, I couldn't tell you about it until now, but it's a fantastic, fantastic guitar. Uh, my wife who doesn't even play uh, wanted one, so that should tell you. The sound of this guitar is uh, is really fantastic. There's a lot more of everything. Uh, it's, it's still balanced, but there's more sustain. There's more low end. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. So we're gonna play it here in a second. If you have any more questions on this, feel free to visit our website uh, or give us a call and we'll be glad to answer any questions that you have about the new 600 series. This 614 is the first one we've received. We have more coming uh, in various body sizes. So if you have your eye on something, give us a call. Let's hear it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 